15 minutes or so, we'll try to finish at 6, we're, we're going to spend the next 15 minutes just to discuss a, a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, themes that have uh, been discussed already today. Um, some, of, some of us you already know, I just want to introduce two new colleagues, um, we, uh, Thomas you know from Czech Republic, we have here um, Henrik Winter from Denmark, Vesna from Slovenia you know, me you know, and Danielle from Switzerland, and of course Massimo from, from Italy. Okay, um, I'm going to open with um, a question uh, about, uh, about the use of social media. With, with the arrival of social media, um, we now have the opportunity to, to connect with people everywhere at any time. Different time zones, different countries. And with that connectivity comes a cost because we are distant from the people we are connecting with. And it has been said that we lose some of the, the, the personal quality of our communication through social media. So the question is, how do we restore that, that sense of personality in our communication using social media? And um, I know that, um, Thomas, you have a particular perspective on this, so perhaps you could respond on that. <coughs> yeah, yeah, so, well, I think that it's, it's, it's pretty difficult to get a re respond to this one because it's, it's different in all, all, all countries and all around the world. My, my case is actually also connected to, to my ex personal experience. Uh, because there are so many, so many people working all around the world, not really uh, seeing each other. Actually, last time in <coughs> London we were discussing that it would be great that it's, it's, it's necessary to meet uh, face to face, otherwise internal communication can't work. But it's sometimes you really can't, you really can't get uh, 60 guys from Bangalore to come uh, to come to, uh, to Bucharest. Uh, and, and talked. So uh, there, are, there are definitely certain, certain ways. What, what is nice is all those LinkedIn and Facebooks, which are internally, because the discussion also might be whether Facebook could be or should be used for internal communication. I think it's, it's also quite, quite tricky. And all these cases actually might work. Uh, not, not always. Uh, what I've heard, for example, in I IBM, they have this beehive beehive uh, approach, which will work perfectly all around the world, but in some countries, people absolutely rejected to use it, because it had absolute, uh, for them it was, was useless. They didn't really care that much about the people. Uh, well, they, they care who was coming, who is on the, on the other side of the line, who is, uh, what are his uh, hobbies, how does he really look like, but they were not really interested in giving some, some personal from themselves. So these are all these, uh, all these problems. I don't want to say my, my views, but I would like to also to know your, your perspectives. I know that Facebook, when it's turned into internal material, material or tool, when it is not uh, seen on public, when it is uh, connected uh, only between uh, among people working together might work. That might be one of the of the of the, of the things, and this can be connected then later with also with other tools, which is right now done in IBM, as I have seen the the, the, the later uh, the, the latest project. But it's not only about Facebook internal, but it's also about all the other tools which are connected. Okay, thank you, thank you, Thomas. Does anyone have a point of view about about this about um, personality in um, social media? Do you think it's a problem? Do you recognise there is something impersonal about the, the use of uh, social media? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure if the mic is working, so I will speak loudly. Uh, you were talking about uh, Facebook and using Facebook as an internal communication tool. Uh, that is, uh, for many reasons, I believe very dangerous because it is a major company damage the brand or the information shared by the company. So um, why should we use Facebook or Twitter as social media and not create an internal social media? Okay, I'm, I'd like to ask my colleague Daniel to, to give a response on that. Uh, it's quite funny, I agree with you. Because, no, it's not funny that I agree, but I tell you why I agree. Um, in Switzerland, we uh, have a division of labor, if we want. The youngsters, the young people, the students, they're very keen on using these platforms. There is no harm. They should also only know that they expose themselves. But that's not my business. 
if it comes to the professional area, you have again two areas. One is the mid-size, huge companies. They have to be careful legal-wise. Uh, exchange control and stuff like this has an influence on using uh, social media. And then it comes to the uh, public uh, area, uh, administration. And there you find probably almost a uh, 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 over Europe a reluctancy to use those medias because if, if you're going to communicate out from the administration to the people, you have to be careful what you're saying. If I say, yes, it's okay, if it, with, within our relationship, within our project, somebody else can say, well, where is, where is the balance? In my case, you said no. So, I, I say we have three, we have three levels. The open level, everybody uses it. We have the, 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 the companies and we have the administrative, the public sector. And we have to be careful uh, to take care of the legal aspects. Uh, one more thing. I believe that when we are talking about Facebook, for example, using, using it as an internal tool internally, well, it, it's kind of almost internal because when you put something on Facebook, Almost everybody can see your friends or the friends of your friends and so on. Or only if you have, I, I say, 10 friends, they can share your information with <coughs> your friends. Thus, the information is not internal and it can become external very easily. Yes. So, why should we say it internal when say Facebook and not just keep the principle of social media, which are creating and developing content by the users? So, I believe the topic here is not using the usual. Facebook or social media tools, but creating others by the principle used on the external communication. If you um, think of another tool, a Google Plus, which is starting to be adopted, it's still at an early stage, and in fact Google will say, we don't know where this is going to go. Google themselves are unsure about how widespread the take-up will be. But you have the, you have the use of uh, uh, circles, so you create circles of particular communities. And so to an extent, you have, you have a, a boundary around a group of people. So I, I guess that's one way in which you can re re yeah, re retain this distinction between internal and external from, from that point of view. Any, any other? Yes. Yeah, sure. um, well, there's several things. You're afraid of Facebook by default. And I'm you, not afraid of Facebook. Let me finish. And from what, what you indicated, you have um, a fear for your data being lost. In that case, if you My company's it, data, please. Not my data. <laughs> your data as well, because you said that every, every person, once they log on Facebook, they're everybody's friends. Which means that you haven't properly realized, I'm making an assumption based on what you said, but you haven't read that within Facebook you can create groups and within those you can play with the custom settings so that you can give access to the information that you want to whom you want. Yes, and the users that I give the access can share the information there. But that's what your policy needs to sort out. And this is why when you adopt social media, it's important to have those policy discussions from the beginning. And this is where management, where is it? Where is it? Um, where management discussions are really important because management gives the direction to policy but it's your employees who actually implement that policy so that needs to be, he's laughing, but there needs to be a discussion and a balance. Now whether we go as Massimo would say that you give them Facebook because they want Facebook, training and discussion still needs to take place so that they know what the risks are. Yes, but how do you control? Yeah, it's communication is not about control. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Communic if you want to do control to propaganda, when you talk about more. policies, you talk about control. control. Talking policy about is about responsibility. I'll, I'll, I'll stop you there. Policy is about responsibility, it's not about control. Yes, but how do you act when you put a, I don't know, confidential information in your group on, you know, on Facebook, which only 10 people can access? and one of the people shares the information and then the information gets spread because it's very interesting and oops, you just, uh, you just didn't respect a policy but what are the consequences? If your policy is a policy, you will have both good and bad. So the policy is about what happens if things go bad, what happens if it goes wrong. That doesn't say guidelines. Guidelines are indications of what the ideal would be to be implemented and what we'll aspire to. 
policy is, how that is implemented, is your internal law. But why should a company uh, get such risk? Mm -hmm. You have the risk at all. Any, uh, if you, you have it anyhow. Whether yeah. you put it on Facebook or whether yeah. you give it to your employee, leaking of information can end up in Wikipedia and WikiLeaks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Just sure. Very quick one. I know something you were saying before. Forget about social media. Leakages have always happened in companies. Now they can just be more widespread. So what Anna was saying about, uh, I would use the word accountability, if I may. Uh, there's a policy, and somebody is made accountable. The employees are made accountable because individual accountable because of because of this policy, if they know it. So that's where communication gets in. People have to know the policies. Once they know the policies, one day they are made accountable. They are made accountable. It's a non-issue if they use Facebook, if they use a piece of paper where they do copy things uh, at the photocopier, or just by word of mouth, they heard the information and they have a chat at the bar uh, after, uh, after business. So I do understand that maybe these kind of media may enhance the possibility of leakages, but they are not the cause of the leakages themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay? Yeah, but you're practically giving them Another yeah, but one thing I'm convinced about is, uh, and I think I, I was trying to say this beforehand, maybe a bit in a rush, uh, you can't prevent people from taking their cell phone at work. If, so you can shut down Facebook, or you can shut down YouTube. Once they have their cell phone with them, they can do pretty much anything they want. Unless you prevent them from having their cell phones but, but when they get the into the company. Uh, was not keeping the employees using Facebook uh, personally. They all have uh, their profile and so on, but the discussion was using Facebook as an internal communication tool. Uh, that means two-way communication from employees, but also from top management or, I don't know, strategy information or so on. This is what I'm talking about. Of course that we are not well, <coughs> our employees using Facebook. Let's look at the other way around and then I finish it. Just this quick answer is, uh, seeing the other way around, uh, if uh, managers use Facebook, at least you have the official word of the company via Facebook, and it's not speculation outside on the individual faces of people, but that's just a line of thought. Sorry. Um, so, if you take forgiven, we have the risk anyhow. Then, you're talking about the chance of social media. And then you have the three steps to arrive at social media to use and not to not use it. Yeah, but I also uh, think that, as uh, my colleague said, the uh, internal social media network are the best solution. You have two options, if I may. Um, your option is to go where your employees are and try to secure your presence within Facebook and master the rules of that platform, but you make, you make a <laughs> decision, <laughs> you make a reasonable decision. Remember, you are the arm of management, but you're an employee yourself. So you take a responsible decision of whether you want to be where your employees are, because it's, a, it's an advantage to them. And you vouch the risks that an open network presents to you, or existing as a closed network within an open network, or you go the route of Yammer, which I've seen many, many times. So a closed network hosted on the internet where nobody bothers to use it because there is a software there that already does that and does it for free. And it gives them the opportunity to interact both within that closed circle and outside. I think one of the things that we try to say today, all of us, independently <coughs> and together, was that Social media is no different than any other emerging media that was before. Social media comes with responsibility and comes with acknowledgement of risk. It's not for everyone. This is what each and one of us were saying. If you want to go the social media route, you need to know what to expect. You need to play the tools and you're always in a test mode. Okay, thank you for that. I think what we have he had here is a perfect demonstration. This is social media. It's physical social media. <laughs> and what happens is that people who set themselves up to be in control suddenly find that, in fact, 
the community has taken over the discussion, and that's perfect. So thank you very much for that. We have one minute left, and I'm going to um, ask for two questions that are unrelated to what you've just discussed. Two questions you've been dying to ask all afternoon and haven't had an opportunity so far. This is your moment. Oh, there's a hand up there. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. about treating adults as adults. You have these tools, you use them at your own risk. There are certain constraints. They use those punishments for real. You like it. Yeah, okay. It's not about social media. It's about it's about responsible behaviour in a work setting, isn't it? The, the tools don't matter. It's only a media. Absolutely right, yes. It has very... Yes, yes. Right, one last point. A point you want to make, a question you want to ask. Yes. We discussed a lot about uh, choosing a best tool for social media, starting with the, okay, the public, your, uh, your last your client, if you want to communicate to, and your purpose. Um, as an internet communication practitioner, the purposes are the company's purpose. So have profit, work better, be more efficient in what you do, profit, efficient, and people engagement. And of course, if it is necessary, the change management mentality when you launch a campaign or something. Um, what would be other uh, purposes that uh, you think about uh, when uh, to, uh, of uh, what we should uh, consider when choosing a, a social tool? So it means what? Better engagement you have a social tool or uh, I don't know. How can I demonstrate to my management that the social uh, tool is necessary and it's going to, you should invest in it because... Okay, my, my response, I think you've yes. answered your own question at the beginning. You know, uh, organisations want to achieve objectives, they want to make profits or they want to achieve some kind of you know, social objective and they want to engage their employees in order to achieve those objectives. If the social media tools enable that to happen, Therefore, there's a direct link between um, an organization's objectives and, uh, and the use of the media. Yes and no, because uh, the needs that are, they are only satisfied by other kinds of tools. There shouldn't be only social media. We have emails, phones, uh, SMS, uh, uh, chats, uh, internal chats, yeah. uh, forums. Uh, what okay. we should do social media, more social media, and on that point, meetings, uh, and on, and on gatherings, parties. And on that point, we leave this discussion with more questions still to, <laughs> still to be heard. And that's how it should be. You know, we are in a live debate, not just in this room today, but in our profession, in, in the wider world. So long may that debate uh, continue. It just remains for me then to thank you all for your participation today and to my, um, my colleagues from FIRE and our, our, our speakers as well. Um, but I just want to make a couple of very quick um, presentations. So just be, bear with me for 30 seconds, OK? So this, this, event, this event happened because of an idea, a discussion in, in Slovenia last, last summer. And this event would not have happened without, uh, without two people in particular. And they're both Romanian. And uh, one is uh, Lavinia Cicca over here. Thank you. And the other is uh, Adelina Bodsan, who is somewhere Just around. Somewhere. Okay, well, she'll get it in a moment. Okay, well that's 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 it basically. Anything you wanted to add, Dolby? No, thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to having your.
your comments if you have any either on LinkedIn or on the email, please. Okay, thank you very much. Will yeah. the presentations be published? Will be sent uh, by email or will upload the presentations on a page online, on our website, which you'll see. When shall we have uh, Next week, maybe. Okay. And here's our other organiser. <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.